Final Fantasy 16 is shaping to be one of the best JRPGs of all time. There's a whole bunch of divisiveness about the game being boring or the previous Final Fantasy games are not dark. Yoshi P right now, bro, I love you, but Screen has got this man looking like I'm fighting for my life. Well, during an interview with Skill Up, Yoshi P comes out and says, one thing he wants to get across is that when we create games, we don't go into thinking we are creating JRPGs, we're just creating RPGs. The term JRPG is used by Western media rather than users and media in Japan. Now, a lot of people probably looking at what I just said like, but they are Japanese RPGs. And yes, it's common sense, they come from Japan, but at the same time, he's right. I think the term itself can be harmless, but the media in many cases looked as JRPGs as second rate or underhanded RPGs. Thinking about how life was as a kid, people used to cook you in elementary school if you liked anime stuff. I personally can speak for myself, I got messed with in a computer lab for wanting to print out pictures of Inuyasha and Goku and it ended up in some fights. I think Mr. Naoki Yoshida goes further in this talking about the history of the whole JRPG term. He then states, this is going to depend on who you ask, but there was a time when this term first appeared 15 years ago, and for us developers, the first time we heard it, it was like a discriminatory term. Though we were being made fun of for creating these games, and so for some developers, the term JRPG can be something that will maybe trigger bad feelings because of what it was in the past. It wasn't a compliment to a lot of developers in Japan. We understand that recently, JRPG has better connotations in being used as a positive, but we still remember that time when it was used as a negative. So even though we use it to differentiate between Final Fantasy versus a Skyrim, it's still toxic in a way. I'm just gonna stop saying JRPG altogether. I think a lot of people who were there recognized how JRPG was shorthanded for anime trash. It's similar to fighting games for a long time until Street Fighter 5 release. Heck, you could even see this with Strive. People will call anime games like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear Air Dashers. Because for a long time growing up throughout history, anime or anything probably in the east was not accepted over here widely yet so even though you probably weren't the person that was saying these type of things there was a lot of stigma in japanese game development now when they heard jrpg or something or probably even japanese fighting games it was going to be toxic behind it or was a term to bring down the type of game they were making or playing and even if you don't believe in this whole jrpg controversy the creator of Xenoblade, Tetsuya Takahashi, Monolosov, 10 years ago, he brings up the exact same thing. And I quote from a long old interview. Lately, I feel that in the rest of the world, branding Japanese made RPGs as JRPGs has become a form of mockery. It is certainly true that there are many games that, as the critics say, have given up on trying to evolve. On the other hand, it's also true that there are a lot of Japanese made RPGs, like Japanese cars and Japanese electronics, have had tremendous care put into their development and aspects like their user interfaces, their control schemes, and that those aspects, something that Japanese people can take pride in. Now, looking at Xenoblade Chronicles 10 years ago, people played the first one, people liked it, but it still had the stigma of it being anime trash. It ain't been until recently last year that xenoblade finally got put and nominated as one of the best games of 2022 and even then you can still argue there could be some biases between all the other games versus xenoblade chronicles 3 simply because it is a jrpg there's a whole bunch more stuff i would love to talk about final fantasy 16 and a whole lot of controversial quotings from yoshi p himself that needs to be talked about the public eyes reception and perspective of the game will change when we get a playable demo and people actually get their hands on the game which is supposed to be slated happening sometime in march or closer to the launch of the game if you want to hear more final fantasy content from your boy rpgs jrpgs all that stuff in good faith my people please make sure you hit the subscribe button i love everybody how do you guys feel will you still keep calling up jrpgs out of habit i know it's been ingrained in our soul we've been saying it for so many years or will you just look at whatever square makes or just rpg you play as an rpg personally i'ma try my hardest not to say jrpgs but i know it's been ingrained in me and i ain't trying to use it as a negative term so i'm gonna come out and say that now let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below it's your boy avatar yaya follow me on twitter avatar yaya underscore join the discord in the description down below to get updates when i upload and remember you guys are golden and that is raw squala
Peace and I'm out.